a little while ago, I uploaded my updated for 2022 Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat figure ranking list. Uh, ranking all of the Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat figures that I have gotten uh, since last year's 2021 ranking. And a viewer, Nicholas Knave, commented on that. Why don't you make a top 10 list of figures you want to see from Storm? And I thought, hell, that is a fantastic idea. Uh, this line could go on for so long, honestly, in my opinion. They've only scratched the surface with what they can do with the Mortal Kombat license. So today, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and rank my top 10 most wanted to see Storm Mortal Kombat figures. Let's get into it. <laughs> How's it going everyone? Deceptibot9 here and thank you as always for joining me here on the channel. If you like what you see and you want to see more of it and stay tuned for all the future content I have planned, go ahead and hit like and subscribe as well. It really helps me out a lot. And if you want to follow me on any of my other social platforms, you can follow me on TikTok at Deceptibot9, on Instagram at Deceptibot9Reviews, and on Twitter at Deceptibot9. So, Here's how this is going to go. Honestly, really, I don't have a particular order for a lot of these, at least the ones lower on the list. The top, like, three or four, uh, those are ones that I want to see, like, really, really badly. Um, like I said, Storm has really only scratched the surface uh, of characters available for Mortal Kombat and games available for Mortal Kombat. They've really only done uh, the first three games in the trilogy with every once in a while they'll do a skin that was from mk11 or something like that so my list features some uh from across all time we've got some characters from the 3d era we've got some characters from four we've got some characters from uh the most recent nether realm trilogy so without further ado we're gonna get into my top 10 here we go <laughs> At number 10 of my most wanted is updates of two figures that i've already seen um but might not see for a while. Now, if you uh, saw the pictures of what they revealed at, at San Diego Comic-Con, you know we're getting an MK9 version of Shao Kahn. What better than an MK9 version of Shao Kahn, who I love? MK9 Ermac and MK9 Noob Saibot. I put these two uh, in the same spot on the list because... Their versions of characters, we, of characters we have already seen. Uh, we know we're getting MK3 version of Noob Saibot as well. Presumably an MK3 version of Ermac. So these characters have been done multiple times before. But they're some of my favorites. And these two designs are some of my favorite as well. So I would love to have them in Storm figure form. Coming in at number 9, this is going to be a little bit of a controversial pick. Because this is a controversial character. But I would love to see Bo Raicho in the Storm line. Uh, any iteration of Bo Raicho, I honestly don't care. It can be the one from the 3D era. It can be the one from MKX. I just want to see Bo Raicho. I've always really loved the character of Bo Raicho. And I think he could make an excellent figure. He could be a lot of fun. They could play around really with those fatality effects and the uh, just the pieces that they would include overall in that figure. I think it would just be so fun. We're already getting Liu Kang. We already have Kung Lao. So we might as well get their master, right? All right, coming in at number eight, another MK9 contender. I probably could have lumped him in with the other two, uh, especially because it's a character we've seen many, many, many times. But I think this is the character's best design, MK9 Scorpion. They're going to keep making Scorpions. I know they're going to keep making Scorpions. He is he's their money maker. <laughs> he's the cash cow of Mortal Kombat, right? He's like Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. Uh, but this is a great costume overall, and I think you could really get some awesome uh, poses and, and pictures and stuff out of this guy if they were to make him in figure form. So... MK9 Scorpion coming in at number 8. Alright, coming in at number 6 is going to be uh, another character that we've seen many, many times, but this is probably his best and coolest appearance, in my opinion, uh, skin-wise. Deception Sub-Zero, Shredder Sub-Zero, as so many of us love to call him. This is Sub-Zero's, in my opinion, best design, and I would love to see it in Storm figure form because it's absolutely insane how cool this costume is and having it 
as a figure would just be so goddamn cool that I really, really desperately want it. Correction, Deception Sub-Zero was number seven. Now we're moving into number six. Actually, actually number six. It is Kenshi. I love Kenshi. We, I would take any version of Kenshi, whether it's MK4 Kenshi, whether it's MK9 Kenshi, MKX Kenshi, I don't care. Kenshi rocks. He is one of the coolest characters from this franchise. Blind swordsman who has basically the force. I mean, he's like a Jedi, basically. Kenshi is so cool. Super unique concept. I would love to see how Storm tackles uh, the design and overall the effect pieces we could get out of that. You know, the regular sword, glowing blue sword, maybe some sort of throwing effect sword. There's so many cool possibilities you can do with Kenshi. And I would love to see how Storm does it. Coming in at number five, a character I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen yet, but it's Shang Tsung. Uh, particular, particularly for me, I would like to see MK3 Shang Tsung make an appearance first. Uh, you know, the one with the ponytail, that kind of design. But I would be glad to take any Shang Tsung overall. Or wait, MK3 is not the ponytail one, that's MK2. Anyway, you guys know what I meant. <laughs> uh, the, the classic young Shang Tsung design with the ponytail. Um, I would even take MK1 old Shang Tsung at this point. I just want a Shang Tsung. We've got like all of the other main villains of uh, 1, 2, and 3 that it's really weird that we haven't seen Shang Tsung yet. We've got Kano on the way too, so that knocks another one out. Really, really odd. But there's a lot of cool stuff you could do with Shang Tsung, um, especially depending on the version you pick, right? We can get some skull flame effects. We can get maybe some... Uh, I steal your soul flame, uh, effect pieces, maybe some shape-shifting pieces. There's so many cool things you could do with Shang Tsung. Uh, again, I'm really surprised they haven't made him yet. Coming in at number four, another controversial pick. I know you guys are going to get on me for this one. Don't hate me for this. This is personally my favorite reptile design of all time. Deadly Alliance Reptile. I know a lot of people are not fans of the full reptilian dinosaur look that we get for reptile, but in my opinion, it is, it's the best. It, it just, that's how I am. I, <laughs> I love dinosaur reptile, big reptilian creatures like that. Um, I've always loved this design of reptile, and I think it would be really, really cool to see as a figure just because you could put lots of detail in the scales but give us a lot of posability as well just to show off how cool that would be. Um, I, I love the way that Reptile and Deadly Alliance looks um, and I know this one is probably a long shot that won't happen but I mean they're making the, the Liu Kang dragon, they've, they've made the Golden Axe uh, rider dragons and stuff so I think it's in the realm of possibility and I would love to see it executed as a figure. All right, moving into the top three. These are all ones that I want, like, really, really, really bad. Um, obviously, besides Shang Tsung, uh, he's a core character. Uh, these ones are all, like, fairly core characters um, in their own way. Uh, and they're all major villains of the franchise as well, just spoiler alert, because I don't think we have enough villains in uh, the Storm line yet. I mean, we've got the sub-bosses and stuff, but... We don't have any of the main core villains that we've seen throughout the games. Coming in at number three is Shinnok, uh, a great villain in the in the Mortal Kombat franchise. He first appeared in MK4, I'm pretty sure, uh, or maybe Mythology Sub Zero, one of those ones, weird ones. Anyway, Shinnok is really cool. He's got a neat design overall as well, and he's essentially a core villain at this point, the main villain of, of multiple games. He's got a sweet design. I love playing as Shinnok in MKX. I'm pretty sure that's a controversial opinion, or not a controversial, but unpopular opinion. Uh, but Shinnok is really cool. I think he could be really well executed as a figure. Plus, it'd be great to see more of the MK4 and 3D character villains as well into this lineup of guys over here. All right, coming in at number two, is another villain from, I believe, MK4 first. Again, maybe he was in Mythology Sub-Zero first. I can't remember his first appearance. Quan Chi. We've seen this guy over and over again, and he is essentially an integral character to the lore of Mortal Kombat now. Obviously, with the way the Scorpion Sub-Zero story goes, Quan Chi is very, very important to the story. And I think he is a great design overall, and you can get some really neat effects pieces out of him. You can get portals, you can get... Uh, 
mind control things going on. There's some really cool stuff you could do with Quan Chi. You could give him the, the double backpack swords. Quan Chi is really, really cool. I dig him a lot, and I think it would be great to have him as a figure to add to this shelf over here. All right, coming in at number one, my most wanted Mortal Kombat figure to go along with all of these big badass boss characters that we have, it's gonna be Onaga. Onaga is so, so cool. Main villain of Deception, he rocks. He is so, so cool. The, the Dragon King himself, this would be a great figure to go along with some of these other big characters like Motaro and Goro. He's such a cool design and I, I would love to see how they execute him in figure form. I don't know what many accessories you could include with him, but I think overall Onaga is super, super sweet. And he is, he's a character that's not really touched on enough in the current MK lore, um, but I really wish he was because Onaga has such a great design and, and such a great character overall when we saw him in Deception that I just would love to see more of him overall. And, and having him on the shelf would just be absolutely fantastic. All right, guys, that's going to do it for my top 10 most wanted Storm Mortal Kombat figures. Go ahead and let me know down below what figures do you want to see Storm make in the Mortal Kombat line. Do we have any crossover as to which figures we want to see? Uh, or is yours completely different? That'd be great. There's so many other characters out there. Um, I know Nicholas Nave's list was way different than mine ended up being. Um, so go ahead and share down below what you guys want to see out of the Storm MK line. And once again, thanks to Nicholas Nave for uh, inspiring me to make this video, asking for this video to be made. So Nicholas, here you go. This one is for you, buddy. So with all that said, guys, I've been your host, Septabot9. Thank you for joining me all the way to the end of the video. I really, truly appreciate it as always. And I'll see you guys later.